Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be learning about Google Chrome and how to download it. Uh, Google Chrome, for me, and probably for millions and maybe even billions around the world, by far is the best browser to use. A lot of people do use different browsers, like here at Microsoft Edge, uh, Safari, Internet Explorer, Opera, and it's Firefox, etc. But to be honest, Google Chrome is truly, really the best browser to use, especially for web and software developers. And for obviously other normal people, I could say, who are not software and web, develop and web developers. Anyways, let's um, begin the process. Begin the process of learning how to download Google Chrome. Uh, to download Google Chrome, you all need a different browser that is included in your in the software in the computer software. Which for me, in my case, it I have Windows Eleven, so my default browser is Microsoft Edge. So you should click on that. Microsoft default search engine is Bing. And we all know we're going to be searching Google Chrome. There we go. It will again again brag that there's no need to download different a new web browser, but you do not need to be deceived by it and just go on your way. Click the first link, which is www.google.com. It is again boasting that it is better than Chrome, that Microsoft Edge is better than Chrome, but again, don't be deceived by it. And just download, click download Chrome. Once it is downloaded, open the file if it is not downloaded I click download chrome again it will ask you if you want to allow the app to make changes to your device and you have to click yes you can uh, close the mic uh, your browser and you have to wait for it patience is the key here it is often slow. So just bear with me for a while. By the way, Google Chrome is not sponsored. So I'm sorry if I give you if I'm giving the wrong idea. Okay, so I'm already signed in, and I'm very really sorry for the inconvenience. Um, uh, usually for people who are new to Chrome, it uh, usually comes as if you want to sign in or sign up, and you have to click either of those buttons. Now you're going to be learning on how to set the Google Chrome as default. So go to settings and search for default apps or Google Chrome itself will take you there. Then the first place where you can see Microsoft Edge turn everything into Google Chrome. Everything allows you to be changed into Google Chrome. Uh, do not disturb the Paint app and the other app. You can change the browser, but not the app app, not the application. Change the Internet Explorer too, if it is possible.
if you change HTTP, HTTP, it will automatically also change the HTTPS. You don't need to do that to others. Then, they, this will also have a Microsoft Edge sign. And I've already done it. And now we're going to be learning how to add extensions to the Google Chrome. Okay, if you are a web developer or a software developer, uh, the colorzilla and and the font ninja extension of Chrome will help you. Click. This will come add extension. You just need to do that. Okay. What Curves the usually does is it helps you tells you which color you have, which is used in a picture or something. For example, like this, it tells you exactly which color it is, and it lets you copy it to for in order for you to put it in your code. Like this, really. Uh, the same is for Font Ninja, but with fonts. It lets you copy. It lets you. It tells you which font it is, and it lets you copy the font and use it in your code. Again, click Add Extension, and the extension will be added. That is basically it. Everything you need to know as the basics of Google Chrome. I am um, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.